Bonjour, Seguli. Greetings, my fellow Pacers. This is Mr. Klein here, and I'm going to be sharing our land acknowledgement. We acknowledge that we are on land and surrounded by water originally inhabited by indigenous peoples who have traveled this area since time immemorial. This territory is within the lands honored by the Wampum Treaties, agreements between the Anishabe, Haudenosaunee, Lene Lenape, and allied nations to peacefully share and care for the resources around the Great Lakes. We would Specifically, we would like to acknowledge the presence of the Three Fires Confederacy, Ojibwe, Odawa, and Potawatomi, and the Huron-Wendat peoples. We are dedicated to honoring indigenous history and culture while remaining committed to moving forward respectfully with all First Nations, Inuit, and Métis. Miigwech, Yawago, thank you. Welcome to our Remembrance Day ceremony. Please remember that this is a solemn occasion. We ask that you do not applaud throughout the ceremony. O Canada will be played at our ceremony. This is a time for us to reflect on what Canada means to us. Please remain silent and still while respecting our country. Please rise for O Canada. Please be seated. On December 8, 1915, during the First World War, a gentleman by the name of John McCrae wrote a poem entitled In Flanders Field. This poem would go on to symbolize why we celebrate Remembrance Day. Grade 8 students will read In Flanders Field. In Flanders fields, the poppies blow, between the crosses, row on row, the marker place, and in the sky, the larks, still bravely singing, fly scarce amid the guns below. We are dead, short days ago, we live, bowed down, sun sunk glow, love and we love, and now we live, lie in Flanders fields. Take up our quarrel with the foe. Take you from falling hands we throw, the torch be yours to hold it at high. If they break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep, though poppies grow in Flanders fields. I am proud to introduce Miss Lindsay Bondi. Where have all the flowers gone? Long time passing. Where have all the flowers gone? Long time ago. Where have all the flowers gone? Young girls pick them, everyone. When will we ever learn? When will we ever learn? And where have all the young girls gone? Long time passing, 
where have all the young girls gone? Long time ago. Where have all the young girls gone? Gone to a young men, everyone. When will they ever learn? When will they ever learn? Where have all the young men gone? Long time passing. Where have all the young men gone? Long time ago. Where have all the young men gone? Gone to soldiers, everyone. When will we ever learn? When will we ever learn? And where have all the soldiers gone? Long time passing. Where have all the soldiers gone? Long time ago. Where have all the soldiers gone? Gone to graveyards, everyone. When will they ever learn? When will they ever learn? Where have all the graveyards gone? Long time passing. Where have all the graveyards gone? Long time ago. Where have all the graveyards gone? Gone to flowers, everyone. When will we ever learn? When will we ever learn? Grade 8 students will now read a poem called Dieppe. It was the 18th day of August in 1942. We sailed away from England and no one knew where to. We had received no orders and no friends to see us leave. The second Canadian division with the blue patch on their sleeve. Early the next morning when everything was still, we saw those tracer bullets come at us from the hill. Though we kept right on sailing and no one will forget the morning that we landed on the coast there at Dieppe. The enemy was waiting and had taken up their post. We met a hail of bullets as we landed on the coast. Every man there landed, or at least he tried. Many men were wounded there, and many more men died. It was early in the morning when we started to fight. The motor bombs came at us from front and left and right. The shells came out from the cliffs they bombed us from the air, but the 2nd Canadian Division did not so easily scare. We fought there from, for 8 hours from 6 a.m. till 2. Our losses were terrific, but there was nothing we could do. The Navy came to help us, but they're both, they could not land. So we had to surrender our up there on sand. What is left of us are now prisoners beneath a foreign flag here in the heart of Germany. In this 8 stalag, Though many of our comrades fell, we will never forget they gave their lives, their fighting, in the Battle of Dieppe. When this war is over, and once again we're free, to our homeland we'll be sailing to a land of liberty. Many have a battle scar, there's no one will forget the morning he, that he landed on the French coast at Dieppe. In remembrance of the soldiers that lost it, their lives for our country at approximately 11.11 11 a.m. every Remembrance Day, the entire country gives two minutes of silence to reflect on why Canada is a special place. The video will play taps and then we will bow our heads for the two minutes of silence. We ask that everyone quietly stand.
Please be seated. Thank you for your attention and respect throughout the ceremony. Please wear your poppy with pride today and treat it with respect. We are also fortunate to be here today and that's why we remember.